Hello. This is Ringer Dead. Lurtz is for sure a very handsome evil side commander. I am not talking about his appearance though. Just see his heroic figure on the battlefield and you've got to have the idea of having him in your pocket. However, it's not easy to get Lurtz. After all, he's one of the best in the second level commanders of the evil side. To get Lurtz, you'll need 30, unstable oil, or to obtain respect through the pub mission. Lurtz is a fierce orc high leader who is very proficient in bows and arrows and traditional orc machetes. He is a fighter with an extremely high basic attributes of might. Also, his skills include high damage attack. So Lurtz can become an essential part of your commander lineup. When rising to level 20, he can increase commander's strength by 25, add 2 skill points, and improve commander's physical damage by 10%. He is suitable for leading the orc troops to fight, which enables him to exert greater strength. Moreover, part of his skills can provide bonus and assistance for units, enhancing the combat ability of the troops. Seems like a strong soldier. In his skill tree, the first skill worth mentioning is Pursuer, which has 1.3% damage bonus to all enemy units when attacking. And the percentage of damage bonus will increase as the skill level increases. This should be the focus of your early gaming. I suggest that you upgrade Pursuer and its two auxiliary skills to the highest level as soon as possible. Because they are excellent explosive skills. Since Lurtz is a pure combat commander, we do that for a reason. In the meanwhile, I wouldn't suggest you upgrading the skill Uruk High Elite, unless you want to improve the statistics and bonus of might and speed. Okay, get it. When respect reaches level 3, Uruk High Firstborn is unlocked. It is a high damage skill. So I suggest you reset the skill points immediately and make it a priority to upgrade it to the highest level, which results in a higher damage text every time you use the skill. The two auxiliary skills of Urukai Firstborn are also suggested to upgrade to the max, because these skills are absolutely the power peaks in terms of damage, and you would not like to miss this. When the skills have all reached the highest level, you can allocate the remaining skill points to upgrade Pursuer. Finally, after Lurtz's respect reaches level 5, you can unlock and upgrade his fourth main skill the White Hand, which enables a 0.3% increase of the physical damage of ally Durk Hyper Round. When the White Hand reaches the highest level, Lurtz gains an additional 15 speed points. In addition, the two auxiliary skills of the White Hand are also worth upgrading to the max, because they will offer damage and defense bonus to your Uruk High units. Therefore, in the later stage of the game, the White Hand and Uruk High Firstborn are the key, Maximizing the two skills will provide the commander and the Uruk High units with a huge damage power peak. In addition, your units will get some relief and maintenance from the two ancillary skills of the White Hand. So, remember to reset your skill points and upgrade them first. As expected, the higher the respect level is, the more important the skills are. As for units, Crusher, Halberdier, Alchemist, Berserker or Mountain Toll, these high damage and high defense units are great matches for alerts. You can choose wisely according to the actual situation. Nice, understood. In terms of equipment, Black Bow in the highest level is very suitable for alerts. In addition to increasing might and damage, there is a 50% chance of causing 240% physical damage during ordinary attacks. This is simply a chance for a critical attack on the enemy. In terms of armor, Golden skin in the highest level improves might by 30 which better lifts up its damage. And for head, I choose Berserker's Gaze, which not only increases damage, but also has a 75% chance to get a crazy immunity for increasing defense. For accessory, Drums of Baraddum is a good choice to increase commander's damage and allied melee units damage by 8%. These equipment are all for increasing the damage bonus of Lurts, a nice match indeed. We are almost done talking in this video. If you lack a commander with high damage, well try to get Lurtz. He's really a good commander. Of course, as a soldier commander, the basic data of his focus is relatively poor. If you have another strong training method for Lurtz, feel free to share it with everyone. Join our Discord channel and become stronger together. See you next time.